Hello everybody, uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. This is another Q&A video. The question uh, is, um, is it possible to stop sinning completely? And the sh short answer is no. But there is more to this uh, question and more to the answer. The uh, the brother that sent me the question asked more. So let me read his entire question. He says, There is a doctrine of sinless perfection, mainly by Kerrigan Skelly. Is it possible to stop sinning completely? I'm not talking about robbing banks or stabbing people. I'm talking no more cussing, foolish thoughts, etc., I'm also not talking about intellectual perfection either, like if you signed a check wrong. Perhaps you have done a sermon on this. I do not think most street preachers are sinless as they profess. However, I guess they are planting seeds. I did, though, watch many videos by Reuben Israel, and some of them were funny, but he uses abusive language towards others. The hecklers are not much better. Anyways, thanks. All right, well, there's really uh, several subjects uh, in this question. But let me start off first by... Uh, uh, I, one of my favorite videos that I have in my collection is a, a video by uh, a, a user, uh, Street Preacher 1611 uh, this is not your typical street preacher as far as his doctrine is concerned. Uh, he, he made a video, uh, standing in state. So, uh, I advise everybody to watch the video. It's one of those animated videos. It's very well done. But in the video, he, uh, very clearly teaches the difference between, uh, our, our standing with God and our, the state that we're in at uh, any given moment. And I'll going to talk a little bit more uh, about that very subject now, but uh, I really recommend you watch his video. Uh, I've often argued with these people that uh, espouse this sinless perfection. And sinless perfection is a like a kissing cousin to uh, lordship salvation, uh, except they, they take it uh, even further that saying that they can Absolutely, you, you can and should never sin again, period. Uh, I like to point out to them the Apostle Paul who confessed that uh, he continues struggling with sin and that uh, I made a video, a couple of videos uh, recently about uh, uh, can Christians be carnal, are Christians carnal? And I like to point to the Apostle Paul who, who confessed that he was carnal. And we, most people consider Paul uh, one of the greatest Christians in history, if not the greatest. Um, and, and if the Apostle Paul was carnal, and if he struggled with sin, how is it that you or I or any of these sinless perfection advocates, how do, how do they think that they are going to do even better than the Apostle Paul and be Sinless per, sinlessly perfect. But let's look at uh, Romans uh, chapter 7, verses 14 through 25 and analyze this. The Apostle Paul says, For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that I do. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. But now then it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. For the good that I would, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. 
Now, if I do that, I would not. It is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man, but I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of this death? I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh the law of sin. So here we have a confession by possibly the greatest of all Christians of his struggle, his continuous struggle with sin. He talks about the old man and the new man, his old nature and his new nature. His, uh, we have, we're born with a sin nature. Uh, we just, just sin naturally. <laughs> but when we're born again, they become a child of God, indwelled by the Holy Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God is prompting us and, and uh, trying to transform us to be godly, to live godly lives. But the old man says, no, sin, sin. The Spirit says, no, be holy, holy. And you have this conflict going on. It's happening uh, to every believer, every saint is struggling, having this struggle. Some of us can admit it, and some of us, some others are so self-righteous, they won't admit it. But uh, a few people who are um, uh, espousing this, uh, a couple of were mentioned in the question, uh, Kerrigan Skelly, uh, another that I am familiar with is partner of Kerrigan Skelly, uh, Jesse Morale, Jed Smock is another. Uh, they are very, uh, I don't want to say popular, but they're, uh, they're very busy preaching on college campuses primarily. Jed Smock goes back about 40 years of college campus preaching. And I read Jed's book, and uh, in his book, the introduction to the book, or the, the preface, his wife Cindy wrote a t testimonial about Jed how perfect he was. And she swore that in the 40 years that she's been married and known Jed, that he has never sinned one time. <laughs> oh, the, 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 the spiritual pride that they have. Well, the, the part of the problem with uh, these sinless perfection advocates is that uh, their definition of sin is really dumbed down. Uh, because really what, what sin is, and, and Paul discusses that, too, there's uh, sins that, that we do, and, and there's, uh, those are sins of commission. Bad acts that we perform. We lie, cheat, steal, fornicate, all these things. These are bad acts, sins of commission. And then we have the sins of omission. These are the sins that um, of uh, that we have omitted, that we have neglected to do good things. Like uh, the, the Spirit is prompting us to do some sort of good deed, to help someone out, to do the right thing, and 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 yet we neglect to do it. Sins of omission. And then there are sinful thoughts, uh, and Jesus says our sinful thoughts are just as bad as our sinful acts. He said if you. Uh, 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 lust for a woman and you've already committed adultery with her in your mind and in your heart. If you've hated someone, you've already murdered them in your mind and in your heart. So if the sinful perfection uh, teachers uh, understood the scope of sin and what it really is, instead of dumbing it down, they have to admit that uh, they sin constantly. They sin every day, as we all do. 
All Christians sin constantly, every day. Either sins of commission, sins of omission, or sinful thoughts. Um, but we, uh, getting back to this uh, video I'm recommending to you by Street Preacher 1611, uh, Standing in State. Um, my, my standing with God is sinlessly perfect. Because when my uh, sins were charged to Jesus Christ on the cross, uh, and I put my faith in Jesus Christ as my Savior, uh, there was a transaction. My sins were charged to Jesus, so I am no long, longer have any sin. And, and His holiness, His righteousness, His sinless perfection is credited to, to me. It's imputed to my account. So, that's why the Bible says, <clears throat> uh, uh, my sins and iniquities, he will remember no more. The Bible says, uh, God has cast my sins as far as the east is from the west. So, my standing with God is sinlessly perfect. I have the sinless perfection of Jesus Christ covering me, imputed to me. <clears throat> but my state with God, in any given day, in any given moment, is, is varying degrees of sinfulness. Um, so, uh, now let's get on to this, uh, the last person that was referenced in your question, brother, uh, Reuben Israel. Reuben Israel is one of the leaders, maybe the primary leader of a large group of street preachers. Uh, I know them well. Uh, Reuben Israel has uh, personally attended the Bible study in my home. Uh, Reuben has spent the night at my house. Uh, I have preached in the streets with, with Reuben and uh, these other street preachers uh, uh, many times. And also, uh, the annually, they come to Las Vegas for New Year's. And uh, many of them would stay at my house. We have an annual convention, per se, a, a meeting, and uh, plan our our street preaching for New Year's, and also annually give out awards. Uh, the last time I saw it, Reuben Israel, uh, he handed me an award, uh, Street Preacher of the Year. So his organization recognized me as Street Preacher of the Year. And that's the last time I saw Israel, Reuben, and that's the last time I've been involved with uh, Reuben and his, his organization. Because I... I finally came to the conclusion that uh, they were not preaching the true message of salvation and their their uh, style or their methodology for presenting it was, was not um, as an ambassador for Christ would do. Uh, it is Much of it is bullying and hatefulness and very mean-spirited, and I can't imagine the apostles and Jesus uh, um, preaching in that manner, except to the Pharisees. Jesus did blast the Pharisees. These were the self-righteous religious hypocrites of his day. And those people, uh, when I made my video, Lordship Salvation Liars, I blasted them. And, and uh, they, in that case, they deserved it. Uh, and then I've turned around and made a video called uh, Most Street Preachers Are Liars, Sinners, and Hypocrites. This is when I decided that I needed to take a stand against the street preachers uh, who were preaching with a hateful attitude and a false message. The message of work salvation, lordship salvation, repent of your sins to, to get saved or to prove you're saved. And I've taken a stand against that. Uh, I've also made a, uh, since my last days with uh, Reuben and that organization, I've, I've made a video series uh, basically arguing against that method and presenting another alternative method. It's called witnessing and evangelism. <clears throat> witnessing and evangelism how to. So that playlist is available on my channel and that is my answer to, uh, their method of street preaching. I, uh, criticize the error, their errors and give you, uh, I think, a better way to witness. Uh, personally, uh, by the way, Reuben is a wonderful person, uh, if you got to know him personally. Uh, he's soft-spoken, uh, he's gentle, 
he's kind, and he's loving of, of the brethren. Uh, and it, it's really a, <laughs> a strange, the transformation, how he he deems that this is the correct way. He really considers himself a rebuker. He thinks his job is to rebuke people who are sinning. That's why you'll see him at uh, gay pride parades a lot, and and uh, any like Las Vegas uh, on New Year's or uh, the Mardi Gras when people are indulging and uh, the, uh, partying and celebrating sin, you'll see Reuben and the others rebuking them. And that way, I can see that uh, we need to stand up against sin because uh, if you want to continue doing sins, then as I've said on other videos, there's a consequence for your sin. You will reap what you sow. Uh, if you live a sinful life, you will suffer the consequences. But that has nothing to do with the message of salvation. Salvation, see, the sin is not the issue today for salvation because our sin debt was paid by Jesus Christ. The issue today is faith. Will you put your faith in the Savior and receive eternal life or you will you put your faith in something else? Will you put your faith in your own righteousness or your church or your religion or whatever else? So, um, well, brother, uh, I hope that will, will help you. Uh, yes, uh, uh, we Christians are sinless per sinlessly perfect in the eyes of God. Uh, our our uh, state is sinlessly perfect, but our standing each day is, as Paul said, O wretched man that I am. I struggle with sin every day. And as we grow and mature spiritually, the Holy Spirit uh, will, as we give in to the promptings of the Spirit, uh, instead of fighting it, we, we uh, transform and grow and mature spiritually. I hope this is of help. Uh, bless you all in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus Christ.